Hey everybody, I hope everybody's having a wonderful week this week. So this week, what's popping and dropping is a movie theater pop-up card or a graduation pop-up card. Two different files again this week. So let's go ahead and open this one on this. It's a ticket that's holding it together and it says admit one. And then we can just slide it off of it. And then we have all of this cuteness on the front. And then we open it up. And it says, you're invited to movie night. And then we have these theater chairs. And I printed a picture. It's going to be of the new Little Mermaid movie. And... This is just, I think, a cute little card. You could do a movie night or you can invite somebody to the movies. Or, And then, of course, on the back, we have a place where we can write a message to somebody. And to close it up, we just push our seats forward like so. And then we're going to push this down. Put that over it and then just put our little belly band back on it so why don't we go ahead and head over to design space and i'm going to show you the two different files you can choose from i'll see you there okay guys so this is the movie pop-up card this piece the white square here is the piece you will print whatever you would like to put on your movie screen don't forget to go up and name and save your project and add any additional pieces that you would like to add to it. Now let's toggle over to the graduation pop-up card. This is the back screen if you would like to put anything behind your stage. That's what this white piece is for. So what we can do is go ahead and add any additional pieces onto this. Don't forget to go up and name and save your project. And why don't we go ahead and get our pieces cut out and I'll meet you at the craft table and we'll get started. I'll see you there. Okay guys, now that we are back at the craft table, what we could do is go ahead and get our um, car base pieces. And we do have a lot of those. So if you'll get this piece out, this is our main piece to our stage. So what we can do is go ahead and work the score lines on it. And I find it a little bit easier if you can kind of put your thumbs in here because this is an awkward one to do and kind of work this top or bottom score line so i just kind of put my fingers in and move that score line right there and these two score lines on the side here right here they are going to be a, a valley fold so if you can push those back and work the top one so i'm kind of putting my fingers in here and for this score line and i'm just going to kind of push it down and it is going to be a mountain fold and the bottom one of course will be a valley and then our top one will also be a, a valley And then once you have that in place, you can go ahead and fold your score lines on the side. And then once you have that, I like to take my piece here and just kind of go over everything to make sure everything is nice and folded. And then we can do the same thing for this one up here. Just go ahead and work that score line. 
So we should have a piece that's looking something like that. Now on our main piece, what we can do is move this, go ahead and set this aside for the moment. And on this piece, let's go ahead and work that score line. And then you can get one of these pieces. They're both the same size. And we can go ahead and work that score line on it. And then I just like to snip my corners. I feel like it's easier to line it up. So we'll snip those. And then you can take tape or glue. And we are going to go ahead and put it on our piece like so. So why don't we go ahead and do that. And the side you have the raw edge on, that's going to be our back side. Okay, so we have this piece here worked and we want our little tabs these two facing down and we're just going to slide it in our stage and the only difference between this stage and the movie one is this base is going to be shorter it's going to probably bump right up against this edge of this piece but you'll do everything else the same and it won't have a hole also in it so once we have the sin we're going to turn it over and what we're going to do is this score line on our tab here we're going to line up with our score lines on our side okay and you're gonna have a little gap on each side of this area and so you're trying to get it as even as possible so that's what mine is looking like and then once we have it lined up and straight so we have the score line lined up with the score lines on the side here we have a little space on each side we're going to fold this flap down And we're just going to put glue on what we turned over. So why don't we go ahead and do that. And then once we have that done, we're just going to fold it forward. So that's what it's looking like. And then we can get our car base out. And now we're going to take our pretty edge here and it will be folding to our left down to our left our two tabs on each side here we want to bump up into our score line and you want to have it so you have a border edge around so try to make it e as even as you can and we are going to put glue everywhere on our piece here but not on our little flap here and not on our mechanism piece which is our stage right here okay so let's go ahead and do that Now we should have something that's looking like this. Now we're going to fold everything down like so. 
we're going to fold this flap back. We're going to put glue all over this U section and on this piece and this section. Nothing outside of th this piece. Okay, so we're not going to put anything on this. So let's go ahead and do that. And when we open it up, we have our cute little fringe. Now I'm just going to cut a piece of acetate off for our stage. Well, that's about how big I made it. I think I'm going to have to trim it because it's going to be too wide. And then I just think I'm going to fold like a, I don't know, that much right there. Can you see that? How much I've folded over, made my own little score line. And then we'll just shimmy it down in our hole here. And we're going to set the foot, so this is our foot, down in our hole and then give it a good rub down with some tape on it. Tape on it. I'm going to shimmy it down our hole here. And then once we have it down, we can just peek inside. You could take a pencil. And then we're just going to give it a good little rub down. So there we have our acetate for our podium. And if we already have it put together, we can go ahead and put it on. So I have my tape on there. And I'm going to lift it up. You don't want it straight, sitting straight down on the stage. I'm going to have a little gap. Now what we can do is go ahead and get our uh, pretty paper and finish it up and putting it on. This is the piece that goes around the stage here. And you can just slide it under your little gray piece here and glue that on. So let's go ahead and put those pieces on. This goes on the stage. I forgot to put it on. So how I'm going to correct it is I'm just going to snip up to our little square here. And then I'm going to maneuver it around the podium. this done so far it's looking good looking good oh i forgot a piece i'm going to go ahead and glue this on the front of our stage there we go now we can work the score line on this piece and get our two sides to the curtain out and what we can do is after we have this work we'll take glue and put it on this area and center our curtain like so on this tab so let's do that so that's what it's looking like then we'll just take our little curtains here and they bump up right to the edge of this on the inside so we don't see it like so so we're going to put a little glue up here and a little glue on the bottom and on the bottom you want to put it on the back side so i'm going to put the top on first and then just bump it up to that score line 
and that edge. So that's what it's looking like. So while this side is drawn, I'm going to go ahead and do the top on the other side. So we have our top glued on. So we're just going to fold this, put a little glue at the bottom, and adhere it to our little tab on the side. So we can go ahead and set this piece aside. And we're going to get out our pieces to make our chairs. So we're going to be using the same number 12 rubber bands that we usually use and this is a set and then these will be a set but they all will fold the same way so it's going to be mountain mountain valley mountain 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 and now we're going to take glue and put it inside the valley fold and then we're just going to push each side to the other and give it a squeeze if you haven't done this before and you need a more in-depth video i'll list the link so you can go and view that video and once we have this one glued, let's set it aside and do the next ones. Now we can get this piece back out. So we're just going to use these outside holes. So we're going to make sure our tab is sticking up. And if you had a little bit bigger rubber band than what I have, you could definitely use that because these are going to be tight. Then we're going to put this edge into our moon shape up here. And we're going to take our rubber band and wrap it around our little tabs. So it's looking something like that. So we're going to put our moon shapes back in their hole here. And this is flat. We're going to put glue all over and then make a completed box. And I'd like to take something and go inside and make sure those little moons are pushed down. And then we can give it a little squeeze. And then we can go to our next one and do the same thing. Okay, so now we have our mechanisms done. We need to get our seats out. So we're just going to work our score line here in the middle of our seats. Now on, now on our stage here, we have a place where in the back you can put like something on the back. And I just did class of 2023. And on the stage... You can see on this card, it comes out past the curtains. But on our movie pop-up one, it will, the stage will come to the curtain. And then you'll put the movie screen right up behind it. And in the file, it's just a white square. And you can print out whatever you want to put on the the screen okay so that's the only difference in the two of these and you also could if you wanted to put more um, slots in your stage and add more things on your stage if you wanted to so what we need to do is take a long one and a short piece here and on our graduation one we only have enough room for two rows, but in the movies, because the stage is shorter, we can put three rows of chairs in it. So we need to make sure that our pieces are moving forward like so. See, this one is coming back, so I need to turn it around, and now we're pushing it forward, and it's laying flat. So once I have 
that figured out, those are going the same way. We're going to take our piece here and set it on top like so. Okay. And we need to make sure that it's pushing forward. So I like to put glue on here because if I put it on this piece, there's slots and there will be glue in between those. So I just take a little glue and put it on the bottom of the seat. And the seats, if you notice, if you put the back up to it like so. We have a little edge on the front there. So if you're unsure where to put the glue, you could put a little dash on your seat so you know where not to come past. So let's go ahead and put some glue on there. And make sure that's right. And now we're just going to line it up. That's what it's looking like from the back. That's how much is over on the top and then if we want to give it a good little rub we could push it forward and give it a rub down and then we're just going to add our second piece on we'll do the exact same thing and you'll just butt it right up against it and it should end almost at the end of our seat here so just make sure it's going the right way and then let's put some glue on just because I don't like these two moving like so, I've cut me a scratch sheet of paper and I'm going to glue it on like this so these two don't move separately when I go to fo fold them forward. There's a little seat and we also have for the uh, backs of our seats. If you want to add the back to give it a cleaner look. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Now we're going to do the same thing to this next section of seats. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we just need to put our seats in. So when you put them in, they're going to push forward, of course, like this. So we just need to figure out where this front seat won't hit our stage. So if you notice, that's a nice distance from our stage. So I like where that one is at. I'm going to let this one up. And then this one, I'm just going to put like at the edge of my, the back of my card right about here, up to that. And that gives us plenty of room. So the only thing we have left to do is put glue on the bottom of these and place it down. And I'm just kind of center my chairs with my stage. And I think I'm going to put a little mark where I want it to go right there. So now we'll just put glue on the bottom and put it on our card. So I think I'm going to do this and go ahead and finish up my card and be back to show you what else I did to my card. I'll see you in just a sec. And while I'm trying to decorate, what I do is just clip my sides together. on my belly band because my diploma didn't cover it up like for my ticket here you don't see the gap I just took another piece of gray paper and extended it so you don't see the hole and then I'm gonna glue 
my diploma on top. Okay, guys, so here is the graduation finished product with a little belly band on it. And then we slide the belly band off. And we have all these little decorations for graduation, which is very cute. And then we open it up and we have people sitting in the audience. You can put those on there if you like. That's in the file. And then our stage with our podium. And then our little 20 class of 2013 back there. And I just think this turned out pretty darn cute, guys. We did a good job. We folded these chairs up. You just lay them all down like so. And then we... Fold that down, and then on the back, we have a place where we can write a message. And I just did a little cap and the pencils and some books and some stars. We have two files available this week for you to choose from again. So you can do both of them or one is totally up to you. So do you guys know, what do you say to Simba? When he's moving too slow. Mufasa. Guys I want to thank you so so much. For stopping by and crafting with me. Don't forget to stop by next week. To see what's popping and dropping. Bye.